This is going to be a very difficult podcast for me to do. The Truth Channels haven't been given the credit that they deserve. And even though I've had a, a tiny falling out with a few members of the Truth Channels, um, a good majority of you have stuck with me and have supported me. And I can't be, you know, I'm grateful. Yes, I was extremely annoyed a, a few weeks ago or more than that when a certain... I'm trying to find a word to, to say because I can't say his name. When a certain Englishman um, was still on YouTube after being told that he would be gone, I was angry and I did take it out. Um, you know, I was just frustrated. Um, but I, I support the truth channels. Let me just say that what you do, what, what you've done is highly commendable. I'm not friends or pally pally with all of you. Um, I've, ha I've had a few um, crosswords with some of you because of my frustrations that this man um, who claims to be a detective is still here. But you don't get the, the true channels don't get the credit they deserve. And you've worked very, very hard, all of you, to bring this guy down. And unfortunately, your efforts have not been rewarded. And that is very, very, very upsetting for me that somebody who has done so many bad things on YouTube has been allowed to get away with it. It's like the Lori Vallow case, you know, um, she's done so many bad things and she's been allowed to get away with it. She's been allowed to misuse, abuse, um, rip off, uh, scam the system. And I don't like people who do that. Now, I'm not saying that there's any perfect human being in this matter. There is no perfect human being. There's no saint here. I'm not a saint. Um, the, the man that has been manipulating people for the past three years is certainly not a saint. And I fully support the Rucheks and I've always, always supported them. And I always will. My compassion has always been for them. You know, people have come to me and they've said, you know, the Rucheks this, the Rucheks that. No one is perfect. The Rutex are not perfect. They've done their best with what they have. And um, they've been through a lot of pain. And there's no, they weren't given any kind of manual, no textbook um, of how to deal with all the things that have been, um, you know, thrown in their, their direction. And there's some people who say, well, they should stay off YouTube. Well, why should they stay off YouTube? They have every right to be on YouTube as much as anybody else. This is going to be very difficult and I'm trying to gain my composure. I'm going to take a, a few seconds of break. I'm not saying for one second that the truth channels shouldn't keep going. But maybe it's time because I agree with a lot of what the truth channel has exposed of this guy. And I agree with the truth channels on who this person is. And I think what he's doing with these cease and desist letters, when I first heard about it, I was absolutely enraged. And people who are completely innocent have done nothing wrong and been targeted. And that just makes me angry. But maybe it's time for the truth channels to reevaluate what they're actually doing maybe they need to go in a different direction i'm not saying for one minute that you should stop doing what you're doing because i completely back you i completely support the true channels but all that you've done for some reason hasn't hasn't gotten rid of this guy and it's not your fault it's not your fault you need cooperation from the powers that be um it, it, it seems to me that he has some power over YouTube, he has some power over, you know, he has some staying power and manipulation skills that keep him around because most people who have had those uh, strikes would be down by now. So he obviously has some uh, staying power. And um, maybe it's time for the truth channels to reevaluate how they expose him and how they go about uh, dealing with him because I, I highly commend your efforts. I've learned so much from the True Channels over the years, but it hasn't gotten rid of him. 
and I am with you. Do not mistake what I'm saying from that I'm not supportive. I am 100% for supportive. And all of you have worked so hard and it makes me angry that you work so hard and the guy is still here. Trust me on that one. Trust me on that. I was speaking to Frankie, I, I don't remember how long ago how long ago was it i think it was two weeks ago or something and we had a long conversation and i know that it's taken a toll on him we're not talking at the moment but um it's just not fair that he's allowed to get away with this it really isn't i need to take a break since I've been on YouTube, I've seen for the past few years what people have been allowed to get away with, what some people get punished for doing virtually nothing wrong, and then some people are allowed to get away um, with their crimes and their wrongdoings. I mean, this is a person who has bullied a family, gaslighted a family, a victim's family, and... Um, what he's done to Nicole Kessinger. And I'm not saying that I like Nicole Kessinger. I'm never going to be Nicole Kessinger's number one fan. I can tell you that. But I think for him to, I mean, he's doxxed her. He's, you know, he's tried to um, find out her address and he's, he's communicated her whereabouts or tried to communicate her supposed whereabouts with his audience. And yet when the same thing is done to him, it's a massive big deal. It's a crime. It's no big deal for him to dox Nicole Kessinger. But when when it's the, you know, when it's done to him, when he's docked, when when people expose him, um, you know, where he is, his address, where he's going, where he's staying, he's all up in arms. But he's allowed to do it and get away with it. There should be no problem. But when it when it's directed back at him, when he gets a taste of his own medicine he starts playing the victim. Now, I just want to address Ivor for one minute, Ivor from Tasmania. I think that Ivor is obsessed. That's what I think. She's obsessed. She can, I think she becomes obsessed with crime cases and I think that she is annoyed. Um, I think she's annoyed and... I'm not saying that Iva is, I think she's, I think she's mentally ill. That's, that's my opinion. I think she's mentally disturbed. Uh, I think she's very engaging. Um, don't get me wrong. I think she's very, very engaging. I think she has a lot of potential and I have watched her and laughed my head off. I mean, that's the truth. And, um, you know, I don't want my channel to be only about serious things. I do make um, humor out of tragedy at times, um, you know, in my own little way, because otherwise it's all doom and gloom and, we don't all want doom and gloom for everything. You know, you've got to laugh sometimes. But, um, you know, and maybe Iva has some points. Maybe she has made some valid points, but the way she's gone about it is wrong. And um, if she's going to be angry with the Rucheks about their GoFundMe pages, and Frankie has been, as far as I know, has been open about what has been done with that money. Um, and, you know, he's put links to crowdfund and, he, you know, he said what he's done with that money. Um, and he, she was offered her money back and she's still complaining. So, um, you know, if somebody offers you your money back and you're still complaining, then I think that you've got more than just a bone to pick. But fair enough. She's still going. She's still going at it. But if she's going to upset about the Rutex, I mean, no, the Rutex didn't force anyone to give them anything. They didn't force anyone to give them anything. So. If she's going to be upset about the Rutex, then Ivor should also be absolutely upset about what, what that man in England is doing with that funding. That really, 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 you know, aside from the cease and desist letters, that funly is just another way for him to cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So he's, not only has he not gone, but he is manipulating the system even further. 
So if you've gotten this far, I just want to say something about Kelly the Advocate. And um, if you are in the Truth Channel crime community, then you'll know who I'm talking about. I have no personal beef with Kelly. I um, I have no interest in having any beef with her. I've never actually spoken to her and I don't know her. And I will always respect the fact that she stuck up for Shanann. However, unfortunately, I think she talked herself up way too much, which is something that narcissists tend to do. And I'm not saying that she's a narcissist, um, but I do think that she has some issues. I mean, coming back on YouTube and threatening people. Um, it, she acts like somebody who was in a, a friendship circle or in a group. And now she's been shoved out of that group and she feels discarded and she's come back for revenge um, kind of thing. You know, writing people letters, um, threatening people. It's just not um, it's just not the way to go. Yelling, screaming and uh, and just threatening people in that kind of aggressive way. It, you know, it, it makes you realize that she really was never the advocate that she claimed to be. And I think that's sad because um, I think she was on a very good path when she was defending Shanann. And I always respected that she defended Shanann. I will never have any personal beef with Kelly. And I'm not here to slander her at all. Um, I just think it's, I think that she's taken the wrong turn with her behavior. And I think it, it shows you that sometimes people are not who they claim to be. Uh, the other person I want to mention is, and I can't say her name either, but it's a sidekick to that man in England, that woman. Man, she really is. I mean, I can't say the words because uh, she really is not a good person. I mean, what a gaslighter. What a manipulator. Um, it would be interesting to see how long she sticks around. Um, you know, as long as she um licks you know as long as she kisses his ass um so to speak uh she'll she'll stick around as long as she um backs him um but that eerie voice that she has that soft eerie creepy voice she just gives me the creeps and um these are two narcissistic people working in action and um it's just sad. It's just sad that they're allowed, you know, they've have been allowed to get away with what they're doing. And this woman who claims to be a woman of God, she has no compassion. She has no sympathy. She has no empathy. Um, I've said many, many times, this is the reason why I don't join groups. I don't join cliques. I respect and appreciate the truth channels and have learned so much from them. I'm not a truth channel. I speak about a variety of different things on my channel, um, true crime being one of them. Um, but I respect the true channels and I'm not in any group. I'm not in the Martin Dehan group. I'm not in any click. I'm not in the Miss Mensa group. Um, you know, I'm my own person and I have my own opinion and I ha I'm an independent thinker. I don't join teams or sides. I just speak from my own personal perspective. I'm going to close now because some workmen have come and have decided to make noise behind me. But um, yeah, that's what I that's what I really wanted to say. I wanted to address this topic because it's really been gnawing at me.